Here's a tip on safety pins and closing the safety pins when you're using them for basting your quilt. So these are pins that I like. These are a number one size pin and a number two size pin. The number one size is about an inch long. The number two is just under two inches long. I don't go any bigger than that. Pins that are larger than that just seem to get in my way when I'm doing the quilting. This is what we call my pin bin. This is how I store my safety pins. So it is a pencil box that has a little piece of foam on the inside of it. And my pins go in and out of that very smoothly. So when it's time to quilt or when it's time to baste, they're always handy and they're not in a bucket poking me. And this is how I close my pins. This is a normal seam ripper. On every seam ripper, the neck of the seam ripper has a wide side and it has a skinny side. So that flat side and wide side are gonna help us close our pins. So we're gonna take our pin, go through the layers, and you want the pin to be about three quarters of the way full. Now your seam ripper is gonna go through with the flat side under the tip of the pin. Then when you spin the seam ripper, so now it's on the fat side, that's gonna make the head of the pin raise up, and then you push the pin down to close it. So it's really quite quick. Hope you like that tip. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.